uh, most of the people who will be admitted uh, under strict protocols will be the so-called first responders. Uh, we're looking to reward uh, those people in Nevada uh, who uh, uh, worked in the hospitals uh, taking care of uh, the COVID uh, uh, patients. Uh, there will be uh, some additional seats among the 250 uh, given to the fight camps uh, so they could uh, invite uh, people who are near and dear to them, which wouldn't have been allowed under the way the old protocol was, uh, but there will be no uh, uh, there will be no sales of any tickets, no high rollers, uh, none of that stuff. And I think uh, uh, Evan will clarify, maybe some of those seats will be available uh, to the media. But all under very, very strict monitoring protocols, uh, which Brad Jacobs uh, is, will be distributing uh, to everybody who wants to attend uh, the fight. Thank you for explaining, Bob. Tia Fimo, can you uh, speak to what it will be, uh, to what it will be like to at least have some people in the venue? Oh man, I mean, during this pandemic and everything, I think it's a, it's a blessing, man. Honestly, to be able to have, um, you know, some fans, you know, whether it's the first responders, uh, I think that's just something that is very, um, is very admiring and and good to know. You know, um, it's, you know, 250 people is better than no people at all, especially for this type of magnitude of a fight that we have going on. You know, um, had this been 2019, I think we would have had a better, uh, better, um, you know, outcome. But, uh, you know, we uh, we find ways to make it work, you know, thanks to ESPN and Top Rank and uh, Bob Arum himself. You know, we find different ways to entertain the, the fight fans. That's why this fight is... Um, is on cable TV, you know, for everyone to watch and tune in, you know, and that's just uh, that's the whole thing about it. You know, um, you don't have to pay pay per view or anything for something that is um, even though it should be it would it could be pay per view. This is a pay per view fight. Absolutely. But, you know, we think about what's going on and the pandemic and um, but it's good, man. I think it's going to be a great a great night that night. And whoever those 250 people, they're going to have a treat right there. Thanks, Steve Fimo. You got it, Keith.